Welcome back guys to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material designing. In the previous video we had learnt and implemented the simple snack bar in our application. In this video we will be learning about the other two types of snack bar that we had discussed. The custom snack bar and the snack bar with action callback. So let's move to Android Studio and start writing the codes. We had set the simple snack bar in our main activity. This root layout was the frame layout that we had defined as the parent layout in our main activity .xml. Before proceeding further, let's move to the documentation of snack bar and learn a little more about the syntax of the snack bar. Let's move to find suitable parent method and see how the snack bar works. This view is the view that we pass in the main activity .java from this line. This root layout is passed to this view of the snack bar. The view group fallback is assigned as null. There are certain actions that are being defined with respect to the layout that is defined in the main activity .xml. Here it first checks if it is an instance of the coordinator layout. This view is same as this view that we have passed from main activity .java. If it is the instance of coordinator layout, this view will be passed. And if it is an instance of the frame layout, that is, this frame layout is not the frame layout that we have defined in the activity main.xml. It is the decor content view of our Android application that is being defined by default. If the coordinator layout is not the root layout in activity main.xml, the instance of the frame layout from the decor content view will be taken and accordingly the action will be performed. So we can see the priority is given to the coordinator layout. If there is no coordinator layout, the frame layout is extracted. Hence it is important to note that it doesn't matter whatever view we pass here, but the important thing is this view cannot be null since this parameter will be further checked in find suitable parent method. Now let us customize our snack bar and provide some action to it. The next option we will take care of is show snack bar with colored text. We will begin with customizing our snack bar. So let us proceed with show snack bar with action callback. Let us first define a snack bar here. Now this snack bar is defined where we have passed the root layout again and the text message which we will be displaying in the snack bar is file deleted successfully. The next step to add the action to our snack bar is snack bar dot set action care sequence text and then the on click listener. This text which we will be defining in the set action will be the action text that will be shown on the right side of the snack bar. And then we will now define the on click listener to this action text. Let us define another snack bar here on clicking the action text where we will change the text to file recovered successfully and we will make the duration length short. Now guys snack bar is same as the toast. Until you define toast.show the toast will not be displayed on the screen. It is same with the snack bar. That's why we need to write snack bar dot show. And another thing is we don't need to define the snack bar again because we don't need any more action in our snack bar. This is just the message that will be displayed on the screen. Now let us run our application and see what happens. Here is our application up and running. Let us click on the overflow menu and check if the action button has been provided with a suitable snack bar or not. Here it is. We get the message file deleted successfully and there was an action text showing undo. On clicking this undo let us see what happens. Ok so on clicking the undo button we aren't getting anything. Let us check the code and see what is missing. Here I have missed to write the show function. And now again let's run our application and see if the undo button is working or not. Let us now click our action option 
and see what happens on clicking undo. We get another snack bar for the short duration of time as compared to the previous one. We can see the duration is short and it is a simple snack bar with a message showing file recovered successfully. That's all for this video guys. In the next video we will be learning about customizing the snack bar. Till then thanks for watching, stay tuned and have a good day.